This video is being sponsored by EA. Special thanks for inviting me to this capture event. Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a special, special video on the channel. Guys, we've got FIFA 23 available. The beta version, we will be able to put out content thanks to EA Sports. And of course, in the first video, as you know from previous uh, seasons, all we're gonna do is play the game, see how it feels comparing with, uh, with previous uh, seasons, uh, try a bit of the new feature features that are quite a few guys. Drop a comment below, uh, let me know also what would you like to see uh, next on the channel from FIFA 23 and also make sure to smash the like button. Of course we're gonna go here with PSG boys, there is no discussion about it, the best team in kickoff in FIFA 23. You got Messi, you got Neymar, you got Kylian Mbappe, you got all the big, 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 big ones. And I think that maybe, not an El Clasico, but a PSG Real Madrid would be more interesting for you guys to watch. Let's have a look at the team. As you can see, first time entering the game. Uh, you get all those, uh, all those options, all those trainers. Go, go. We're gonna go super, super classic with a 4 4 2. Uh, you got Messi on the right, you got Neymar with Mbappe up front, or maybe 4 3 2 1 to use. Uh, I think I think for PSG that might be a must because you got that front trio that is so so overpowered, and why not use it? Uh, defense is Mendes, Kimpembe, Marquinhos, Hakimi. Nothing to change uh, over. There, Ramos just can't get in the team, unfortunately, in my opinion. I'm gonna have to stay back while attacking for the fullbacks. And that is it, boys. That is it, it, it. We're not gonna change anything more. And there we go. First game in FIFA 23. First match, boys. Uh, let's check the graphics, of course. First thing we're gonna do. Let's just leave the game like that. Check the graphics. See how it looks. Uh, comparing with FIFA 22, even even though, in my opinion, it's pretty hard to improve those. Uh, next gen FIFA 22 was pretty pretty awesome. Now FIFA 23 on next gen, next gen. <laughs> uh, let's see, Vinny, and also improvement. In my opinion, first thing I see, the spectators feel a bit better comparing with 22. Let's see the player faces now. You got Neymar. Impeccable, right? Oh la la. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see the presentation of the squads. Uh, you got a 4-3-2-1 for, uh, for us, for PSG. I like the way that they've done this. Verratti there, got Mbappe. Oh, they, they pre present Mbappe and Messi as behind Neymar, behind the striker, they don't really see it at a 4-3-2-1, they, they see it more as a 4-3, uh, what am I saying, they see it as a 4-3-2-1, only in my head, uh, those three up front are, are only forwards, actually in the game they're more like cams, depending on the player's instructions, let's see also Real Madrid with Mendy, Alaba, Rudiger, Carvajal, Toni Kroos, Casemiro, Luka Modric, the classic midfield. Casemiro, not at Real Madrid anymore. Asensio, Benzema, and Vinny Jr. up front. Uh, but they are playing a 4 3 3. The how up there? It is, it's only a friendly, come on. You need to do that in a friendly. One, two, three. What else do we have? Yeah, let's see Messi. Who looks superb, and I think we need to do some changes here. Uh, I'm not gonna play that camera in particular. I need to go co op. Uh, it's interesting, the EA Sports game cam is something uh, classic for next gen. I've seen it in previous seasons when I switched from PS4, from old gen to next gen. Uh, but uh, this is enough, it's enough. We're gonna play our classic co op, and that's the camera that I advise you also to use. We're gonna talk more about cameras and stuff like that in the, uh, in the upcoming videos when we will have tutorials about everything in the game. Um, anything else to change? Uh, we get that. Trainer on the screen. What is that? How can I? That's something. I think that's the training center. Do I change it from here? FIFA trainer hide. But I don't, uh, is that it? What time finishing? Not recommended. 
What? Bro, maybe not recommended for for starters, but not time finishing. Should be something that is always recommended if you want to go next level. We good? I think we're good. Nice tackle there. Why does that happen? Come on, Killian. Should I? Oh, block last second. I still... I don't understand why you get those... Uh, those pats on the back if you do a pass or stuff like that. Can I... Change it somehow? Adaptive, clear lock clearance. Uh, uh, is it from here? Time finishing. I don't think it's from here though. Now we're just, uh, we're just gonna do it like that. I think we're like... You gotta complete those uh, those small things like a tackle, like a normal, like a good shot, a standing tackle and ground pass for it to disappear. As always, each time when I start a new game, uh, professional semi-pro just to get a hang of the game. Messi, bam, finesse, and there we go. We got a standing tackle, we got a nice pass. We, we need, to let's see the celebration. <laughs> You're not gonna see Messi doing that in real life. Ah, that ain't gonna happen, but here, Looks pretty, pretty nice. So that's 1-0 early on Messi. And we see finesse shots from inside the penalty box being a viable option option in scoring goals. Even though I've heard that from outside the penalty box, you need the top-notch players in order to make finesses work. They're not as OP as they were in previous seasons. Paredes now. Messi. Vamos Messi. Maybe another one. Ooh, Thibaut Courtois with the save here, maybe easier to go uh, with the power shot near post. Okay, corner kicks are changed. Yes. Let me see, this is similar to six, seven years ago. You use left analog and right analog to, as you can see there, to choose where you want to hit the ball, the impact point. Interesting. Well, we'll get into that in the next tutorials after I learn properly how to execute them. All right, this now to Messi. The movement with the left analog with Messi is spectacular. Let's see Mbappe. Never gonna miss that one. So, ball roll scoop still working like in previous uh, season. It remains to be seen if it will be as effective like glitched like in previous FIFA version. But at this moment, you've seen it with Kylian Mbappe pretty pretty fast and also uh, the reverse elastico looking extremely extremely good Verratti 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 see Messi nah that's, that's decent defending there but I'm sure that one of the new skill moves in the game will be extremely overpowered it's the same the same each season I just need to find it each season, one new thing is extremely, extremely overpowered. Let's see Neymar, 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 Neymar. See, too, too many. Yeah, too many. Way too many right there. I just, I think I should have shot earlier, but, you know, this is a match when we're learning. We're seeing the new things. Danilo. Not blocked in the last second. So far, that Danilo defensively looked absolutely incredible, like... What I'm learning from this is the fact that if you've got a big CDM, not necessarily the fastest one, you got a big one, super aggressive, might be important, especially in formations like 4-1-2-1-2, narrow 4-3-1-2, when you need a static CDM. Let's see Neymar Sito. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Yeah. It was decent, but not the best. Not the best. Doesn't have the traits. He's got the shooting stats, not the traits, uh, though, and it's still 2-0 minute 43 PSG against Real Madrid. Easy to get the ball there. Let me see Neymar Sito, the cross. Nah, never like that. Never, ever, ever, ever like that. Also, guys, if you plan to play uh, kick off with your, with your friends, PSG, I think, is the way to go. Uh, they, they feel absolutely amazing. I know most of you are ultimate team guys, but otherwise, if you're going kick off, PSG with that front trio, uh, with the defense that is extremely well balanced, probably the best. Uh, Halftime stats, uh, why are we talking about it? It's super easy playing uh, kickoff 
I don't know semi pro what we're doing here just to learn the game. No, no point in talking about uh, halftime stats. I'm just used from uh, Ultimate Team. Always checking out uh, halftime stats in Ultimate Team. Let's see Neymar. Let's see. Should be easy. Should be easy. Easy peasy there. You know what I've felt so far? Finishing inside the box seems to be a bit more accurate. Uh, the goalkeepers are not Spider-Man like they were at the beginning of FIFA 22. Curious if that will stick or they will uh, roll out a patch or something like that to make us score less goals. I prefer, honestly, if you have the chance to just score it. I don't like Spider-Man goalkeepers. If it's a big chance, let me score it. I love 7-6 results. Not very realistic, but I love them. Neymar, 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 Sito. And that was okay. From Thibaut Courtois, that was a different, different movement from the new Hyper Motion. Actually, Hyper Motion 2. And that's a corner kick goal. Danilo. What was Courtois doing, though? <laughs> Danilo with the header making it 4 nil. Yeah, I was saying about Hyper Motion 2. They got a lot of new animations added in uh, the game. Also, we need always to remember that this is not necessarily the final product. This will, Messi, Messi, this will uh, give us an understanding and an idea about uh, certain mechanics in the game. But this will not be, this is not the final game. I think that 10, 20% of the things will still be changing. Let's see, Mbappe should be easy there. Should be easy there. Come on. Nah, I've, I've overdone it. I've overdone it. Yeah, I was saying that this this is not the final product. A few of the changes, a few of the things will be changing uh, for the final game. But so far, uh, I like it much more comparing with the other version of FIFA 22 that we got to test last season. This looks a bit more well balanced. I haven't tried the crosses. I don't even have the team necessarily to try the crosses like Neymar, Messi. Not the best headers in the game, but they are great at everything else. Mbappe, Mbappe. Uh, more power. I think Mbappe can do it. Like Messi and Kylian uh, have the ability to score from, from long range of finesse shots. A uh, bit more harder with Neymar. Mbappe can do it though. Nene, come on. Come on. Oh, no finesse. Power shot. Actually, nah, it's not a new power shot, but it's a long shot. And that went in like a charm. Let's see the replay. Oh, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. Wow, beautiful strike from Neymar there. I love that. So, long long normal shots. Not the finesse ones. Maybe more overpowered. See Neymar yet again? Nah. I, maybe I should have went a bit harder. Maybe world class. But nah, it's the first game. It's okay. I'm gonna go... After this, make it a bit harder. Messi! Thibaut Courtois with the easy save over over there. So far, guys, I love the graphics at the intro. I feel like the game is a bit more responsive, realistic, comparing with FIFA 22. Or maybe I'm just excited because it's something new. But this is just my first, first feeling. I love the dribbling. You can still dribble very nicely. Woo! Thibaut Courtois with the crazy save there. I haven't seen that in FIFA 22. Let's try one more corner kick. Nah, that's too short. Need to practice these a bit more. And that is the game, boys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what did you uh, think about the gameplay. About uh, the new type of shots. About the new mechanics. About the graphics. Sincerely here, so far, first impression is quite, quite good we're gonna go now in the game and practice even more and get ready those tutorials for you guys to uh, to learn everything there is to learn about fifa 23 so when it's launched boom you're gonna be fantastic at it this will be all for today don't forget to drop a like my name is Ovin. i'll see you first with a new video tomorrow bye bye